All right, here we've got a couple of maximization and minimization word problems that we're going to look at. Uh, so you can see how to apply the vertex formula in order to solve these types of problems. So here, notice we have this big old paragraph. And so when you read word problems of this size, you want to kind of do it part by part and pull out the information that you can find contained within each tiny piece. So we have that Cindy wants to construct three rectangular dog training arenas side by side using a total of 400 feet of fencing. So right there, we can go ahead and draw ourselves a picture. So we want a rectangle dog training area and we want three of them. So we're gonna split this into three Now, one thing that we know is we know that the total is going to be 400 feet of fencing. So here we've got um, your length. And we have our width. So we have that this is a width. However, the partitions in the middle are width. And so is the one on the end. So our perimeter formula is going to change. And the way it's going to change is that in this problem, our perimeter is going to equal twice the length because you have to go one side plus the other long side. But then I have one, two, three, four times the width. So this is plus four width. And that's how it changes. Normally, if we look at perimeter, we're looking at a single rectangle, so you would have two and two. But in this case, we have to take into account the fact that we're taking our rectangle and cutting it into equal pieces. So once we figure that out, we just simply need to set things up and solve. And so here, my perimeter is that 400 is equal twice the length plus twice the width. So we can simplify this down. I can pull, sorry, not twice, four times. So this is going to be four times your width. So we can simplify this down by dividing everything by a two. So here we get that 200 is equal to length plus two width. And we can kind of use um, this idea when working with our problems. So here, the variable we have is we have this L. So we can say that our length is going to be 200 minus 2W. And so in this instance, we know that my area is generally length times width. My length is going to be 200 minus 2w. So in this case, we would end up having my 200 minus 2w times your width. So this is going to be 200w minus 2w squared. If you notice, this is a quadratic and this is where the vertex formula comes into play. So here, in order to find your maximum width, we're going to use the idea of negative b over 2a. And so in this case, we would end up having negative 200 over 2 times negative 2 which in this instance is going to simplify to give us 50. Well, in our problem, we had 400 feet, so our max width is going to end up being 50 feet. Now, that being said, we also have to find the maximum length. So in order to find your max length, we are going to use the length formula that we had. So here, this is going to be 200 minus 2w. 
We found W to be 50, so my max length is going to be 200 minus 2 times 50, which is going to give me 100 feet. So the dimensions that are needed to maximize the area is going to be 50 feet by 100 feet. And that is going to maximize the area of each individual pen. Alright, the last problem that I wanted to look at is a physics problem. And so here, this is one of those ball problems. So we're throwing a ball upwards. We've got a velocity of 48 feet per second. And we're starting at the top of a 144 foot building. Okay. Um, what we want to know is we want to know the time at which your stone will reach a maximum height given the fact that we have a formula to find your maximum height and the maximum time. So here, what we're actually looking at, if you look at this formula, is we've got this graph, or this idea of our graph, where our parabola is going to start where your x is essentially your time, this is the h value, and your y is going to be your max height, which is your k value. And so our parabola is going to start by going up because we're throwing the stone up and then once it gets to its maximum height it's going to come back down to ground level. and give you a time. Okay? So if you think about it, we're going to have a spot right here at the top of a parabola where this is going to be the coordinate point of my um, It's going to be the coordinate point of the time and your max height. Okay, so if we were to graph it, that's what we'd be looking for. Well, the other thing that we call this is our vertex point. So again, we can use the idea of the vertex formula in order to solve for this point. So here, we're going to start with our equation. So we have h of t is equal to negative 16 t squared plus v naught t plus h naught. And we have been given all of the information we need. Okay, so first and foremost, we have that our height is still the negative 16 t squared. My velocity was 48 feet per second and the height that I'm starting at is on top of the 144 foot building. So once you know all of that we very simply can find our time by using negative b over 2a so here we're going to have negative 48 over 2 times a negative 16, which is going to give us 1.5 seconds. And then we have your maximum height, which is the k value. And so in this case, it's going to be found by um, taking our 1.5 seconds and substituting it in. So this is negative 16 times my 1.5 squared plus 48 times the 1.5 plus 144. So when we simplify that down, we come up with 180 
feet. So there are two examples of using your vertex formula to help you solve maximization and minimization problems. So if you have any questions, I'd be happy to hear them. Otherwise, I hope you had as much fun as I did, and I'll see you next time.